you know who else is here is Mr. Mike Elizondo on the bass, our musical director. The secret wizard himself. Um, Mike, you hit me to the fact that, um, that this is Jay Dilla's birthday month. Uh, and Dilla, of course, uh, a legendary Detroit musician. Yeah, Jay Dilla, known as James DeWitt Yancey. Grew up here in uh, Detroit, um, homebred here, and I'm a huge fan. Uh, many producers, musicians, fans of hip hop definitely know who he is, but basically all Jay Dilla did was completely revolutionize what you think a groove is. And, oh, uh, that's all. Yeah, that's all he did. But, uh, but you know, he grew up here, went to Pershing High School, and uh, he met a couple of buddies and started a cool underground group called Slum Village. And so Slum Village was, was one of the first things I remember hearing. Um, and there was just this cool thing about the drum beats, though, that we're like, what is going on? Um, but basically, what he would do is he'd work off of a, a music sequencer called an Akai MPC 3000. And he, he'd sample drum sounds, and he, he found a way to, to kind of just make it a little off kilter. You know, hi-hats would be flamming with the snare drums, and the kick drums kind of had this interesting lope to it. And I think, you know, once people started to catch on what was going on, it was just everyone was hooked. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to maybe demonstrate a couple of Dilla's beats with the, with the band here. And yes, it would be fun. Sweet. All right, so this first one, check out how, you know, basically we're going to be trying to recreate what Dilla did. And, and uh, he did this thing where he would lay back the hi-hats and the snare drums felt the head. And with that machine. It, with that machine, yeah. And so he would do that, but then he'd also, like, throw on, like, some Jimi Hendrix guitar. So check, check this one out. So, so actually, that one didn't have the Hendrix oh, guitar. Oh, that was not the Hendrix. The next one had the That's Hendrix. An unusually reserved yeah, Hendrix. Exactly. That was, that was Hendrix in his jazz period. I see. Yes. No, but what he, you know, he was a huge jazz head, definitely was a huge rock head, so he kind of just found cool ways to bring. So check this one out. What he also had was an amazing record collection. Like the guy, you know, uh, I think one of some village records was called Digging in the Crates, which meant you're going to the record stores, looking through the crates, finding the, the, the records that no one else had to sample. So he sampled this group uh, out of New York called ESG. It's a song called UFO. You've probably heard it if you're a hip-hop head, but check this one out. <laughs> So another thing Dilla would do is he obviously sampled stuff and he'd find ways, but he, he was the first one that I ever heard uh, filter. He would take a, like an EQ and he would filter the sample so you almost didn't recognize what it was. But this was a cool instrumental track that I remember finding and see if you can make out what it is. I'll, we'll, I think we'll play it and then ask and see if you guys can figure out what he sampled this from. Right. Um, another cool thing, check out the, the kick drum pattern that, uh, that, we, that we got back there. It's basically, he would just do this amazing thing where the lope would just, it, it just, it was, un, it was almost like what James Brown and, and George Clinton did to the drums, he did to, to hip hop drums as well. So right. here we go, Abe. Mm -hmm. 
Anybody? Anybody? Rocky. Yep. Yes, Team for Rocky. Nice. We yeah. got it. That was from Rocky. Yep. Woo! Yep. <laughs> Want to do one more snippet, maybe yeah, another. Yeah, yeah. This one's just a cool one, but, you know. It's him playing some cool jazz chords on a marimba sound. And I just thought it felt crazy. But again, he was also he inspired a lot of bass players to play super behind the beat. I think inspired by maybe reggae music, but he did it in a whole other, a whole other way. So check this one out. You're listening to Live From Here. Awesome. Well, this last one we're going to jam out for a little bit. So uh, just basically wanted to say thank you, Detroit, for raising such an amazing, inspired musician. You've done it for so many genres, but Jay Dilla, we love you. Thank you for everything you did. Check this one out. Thank you so much, Mike. Elizondo, thank you so much, Jay Dilla, for showing us how that was supposed to be.